Sutra. He is fond of talking about treasure troves in other locations, or of remote and hidden places where sages and worthies of the ten directions dwell. Those who follow him often see strange and unusual people. Commentary. He is fond of talking about treasure troves in other locations. What does he like to say? He says, "Hey, in a certain place there are gold, silver, and all kinds of jewels. Do you want some?" He spreads such rumors to belittle the assembly. Or he is fond of talking of remote and hidden places where sages and worthies of the ten directions dwell. He tells people, "There are Buddhas and Bodhisattvas cultivating there without your knowing it." Those who follow him often see strange and unusual people. They may give off light or have other strange characteristics. Sutra. This is a ghost or spirit of the mountains, forests, earth, cities, rivers, and mountains that, in its old age, has become a demon. The person it possesses may advocate promiscuity and violate the Buddha's precepts. He may covertly indulge in the five desires with his followers, or he may appear to be vigorous, eating only white plants. His behavior is erratic, and he disturbs and confuses the good person. But when the demon dies, it will leave the other person's body, and both the disciples and the teacher will get in trouble with the law. Commentary: What kind of creature is this? This is a ghost or spirit of the mountain, forest, earth, cities, rivers, and mountains that, in its old age, after a long time, has become a demon. The person it possesses may advocate promiscuity and violate the Buddha's precepts. His lust-filled thoughts cause him to break the precepts. He may covertly indulge in the five desires. With his followers, the people who are with him, the five desires are wealth, sex, fame, and food, and sleep. Or he may appear to be vigorous, eating only white plants. His behavior is erratic. He does not sit in meditation or cultivate. He only engages in unbeneficial ascetic practices. And he disturbs and confuses the good person, causing him to stop cultivating. But after a while, when the demon dies and grows bored, he will leave the other person's body. Then both the disciples and the teacher will get in trouble with the law. So try. You should be aware of this in advance and not get caught up in the cycle of transmigration. If you are confused and do not understand, you will fall into. The relentless house. Commentary: You should be aware of this in advance and not get caught up in the cycle of transmigration. Awaken to this early on, and don't fall into the demon's trap. Don't enter the demonic cycle of birth and death. If you are confused and do not understand, you will fall fall into the relentless house. So try further. In the unhindered clarity and wonder that ensues after the feeling scandal is gone, this good person is untroubled by any any divine mental state and experiences perfect bright concentration. Within samadhi, his mind craves spiritual powers and all manner of transformations. So he investigates the source of transformations. As he greedily seeks for spiritual powers, commentary further in the unhindered clarity of wonder that ensues after the feeling skanda is gone, this good person who is cultivating the way and practicing samadhi is untroubled by any devoted mental state and experiences perfect bright concentration. Within samadhi, his mind craves spiritual powers. He has another false thought. He decides he wants to have great spiritual powers and all manner of transformations, so that he can display the eighteen transformations in mid air. He wants to be 
able to emit water from the upper part of his body and fire from the lower part. He wants to emit a fire, fire from the upper part of his body and water from the lower part. He longs to be like the Ahas who can manifest these 18 transformations while floating in the air. So he investigates the fundamental source, the principle of these transformations, as he greedily seeks for spiritual powers. January 1983 A person is still vulnerable to possession by demons even after he has broken through the form and feeling skandhas. Breaking through the skandhas of form, feeling, thinking, formations, and consciousness is a very ordinary matter. It doesn't mean he truly has somebody power and won't get possessed anymore. He's at a very high level, but even at that high level, he can still be possessed. Why? Because he still harbors love and greed in his mind. He may be greedy for knowledge, for spiritual powers, or for responses. His greed opens the door. He cannot become free from demonic possession just by thinking about it. In fact, he will only be more liable to become possessed. Sutra at that time, a demon from the heavens seizes the opportunity it has been waiting for. Its spirit possesses another person and uses him as a mouthpiece to expound the sutras and the Dharma. Commentary The demon that has been lying in wait sees its trans and sense spirit to possess a person through whom it speaks the sutras and the dharma. Sutra, this person truly unaware that he is possessed by a demon also claims he has reached unsurpassed nirvana. When he comes to see that good person who seeks spiritual powers, he arranges a seat and speaks the dharma. The possessed person may hold fire in his hands and, grasping a portion of it, put a flame on the head of each listener in the fourfold assembly. The flames on top of their heads are several feet high, yet they are not hot and no one is burned. Or he may walk on water as if on dry land, or he may sit motionless in the air, or he may enter into a bottle or stay in a bag, or he may pass through window panes and walls without obstruction. Only when attacked by weapons does he feel ill at ease. He declares himself to be a Buddha and wearing a clothing of a lay person receives bows from bishops, his slanders dhyana meditation and the moral regulations. He scolds his disciples and exposes people's private affairs without fear of ridicule or rejection. Commentary This person is truly unaware that he is possessed by a demon. He also claims that he himself has reached the wondrous fruition of unsurpassed nirvana. When he comes to see that good person who seeks spiritual powers, he arranges a seat and speaks the Dharma. The possessed person may hold fire in one of his hands and grasping a portion of it with his other hand, put a flame on the head of each listener in the fourfold assembly. One by one he puts a flame atop the heads of each of the, of the pupil in the audience. The flames on top of their heads are several feet high. When he puts the flames there, they are small and they grow bit by bit until they are several feet high. Yet they are not hot and no one is burned. They do not spread or set anything else on fire. Or he, the possessed person, may walk on water as if on dry flat land. Or he may walk or sit motionless in the air. There's nothing holding him up in the air, but he can sit in it. Or he may enter into a bottle or stay in a bag. Or he may pass through window panes and walls without obstruction. The doors and windows may be closed, but he can easily pass through them without opening them. He is not hindered in the, the least. Only when attacked by weapons does he feel ill at ease. 
He is afraid of being cut by knives and pierced by spears. That is because he still has a physical form which obstructs him. Although he has five of the spiritual powers, he still feels being wounded by weapons. He declares himself to be a Buddha and wearing the clothing of a lay person, not the attire of left home people, receives bows from bishops. Dressed as a lay person, he receives bows from left home people. He slanders dhyana meditation and the moral regulations as being useless and incorrect, and he scolds, scolds his own disciples and exposes people's private affairs. He discloses people's secrets with fear, without fear of ridicule or rejection by others. Sutra. He often talks about spiritual powers and self mastery. He may cause pupils who see visions of Buddha lands, but they are unreal and arise merely from the ghost's powers to delude people. He praises the indulgence of lust and does not condemn lewd conduct. He uses indecent means to transmit his drama. Commentary. He often talks about various sorts of spiritual powers and self mastery. He may cause people to see visions of Buddha lands throughout the ten directions, but they are unreal and arise merely from the ghost's powers to delude people. He himself does not have any real skill in cultivation. What he praises most in the indulgence of lust, he says. Is truly the most wonderful thing there is. Is a source of body and nirvana, and he does not condemn lot conduct. He says there's nothing wrong with it. Don't bother holding precepts. He uses indecent means to transmit his drama. He uses all this impure behavior as a means to transmit the drama. Sutra. This is a powerful nature spirit. A mountain sprite, a sea sprite, a wind sprite, a river sprite, an earth sprite, or a grass and tree sprite that has evolved over long ages. It may be a dragon goblin, or a rishi who has been reborn as a goblin, or again a rishi who, having reached the end of his appointed time, should have died, but whose body does not decay. And is possessed by a goblin. In its old age, it has been it has become a demon. It disturbs and confuses the good person. But when it tires of doing so, it will leave the other person's body. Then both the disciples and the teacher will get in trouble with the law. Commentary: This is a powerful nature spirit, a mountain sprite, a sea sprite, a wind sprite, a river sprite, an earth sprite. Or a grass and tree sprite that has evolved over long ages. It may be a dragon goblin, or it may be a rishi who, having cultivated for perhaps a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, or five thousand years, has been reborn as a demon goblin at the end of his life. Or again, it may be a rishi who, having reached the end of his appointed time, should have died. But whose body after his death does not decay or change, and is possessed by a goblin. In his old age, it has become a demon. It disturbs and confuses the good person's power of samadhi. But eventually, when it tires of doing so, it will leave the other person's body. So long as the demon is there, the person possesses awesome spiritual power. But once the demon leaves, then both the disciples and the teacher will get in trouble with the law, and their activities will be curtailed. Sutra, you should be aware of this in advance and not get caught up in the cycle of transmigration. If you are confused and do not understand, you will fall into the relentless hells. Commentary, Ananda, you should be aware of this in advance and not get caught up in the demonic cycle of transmigration. Don't fall into the demon's snare. If you are confused and do not understand, you will fall into the relentless hells.
Sutra. Further, in the unhindered clarity and wonder that ensues after the feeling skanda is gone, this good person is untroubled by any devil mental state and experiences perfect bright concentration. Within samadhi, his mind craves to enter cessation, so he investigates the nature of transformations as he greedily seeks for profound emptiness. Commentary, he looks into how things in a state of existence can transform, can transform into nothingness, and how nothingness can transform into things which exist. He studies the way these transformations take place, hoping to experience a profound state of emptiness. Sutra, at that time, a demon from the heavens senses the opportunity it has been waiting for. Its spirit possesses another person and uses him as a mouthpiece to expound the sutras and the dharma. Commentary at that time, a demon from the heavens senses the opportunity it has been waiting for. The demon watches and waits and when he sees a chance, his spirit possesses another person and uses him as a mouthpiece to espout the sutras and the dharma. The demon speaks through that person's mouth. Sutra, this person, unaware that he is possessed by a demon, claims he has reached unsurpassed nirvana. When he comes to see that good person who seeks emptiness, he arranges a seat and speaks the Dharma. In the midst of the great assembly, his physical form suddenly disappears and no one in the assembly can see him. Then out of nowhere, he abruptly reappears. He can appear and disappear at will or he can make his body transparent like crystal from his hands and feet. He releases the fragrance of sandalwood, or his excrement and urine may be sweet as thick rock candy. He slanders the precepts and is contemptuous of those who have left the home life. Commentary This person is unaware and does not realize that he is possessed by a demon from the heavens. He claims he has already reached the wonderful fusion of unsurpassed nirvana. When he comes to see that good person who seeks the deep emptiness of cessation, he arranges a seat and speaks the Dharma. In the midst of the great assembly, his physical form suddenly disappears and no one in the assembly can see him. The demon's spiritual powers cause the possessed person's body to suddenly vanish. He was there speaking the drama, but suddenly no one can see him. This is the emptiness of pupil and dramas. Pupil and dramas are both gone. Then, after a few minutes, from out of nowhere, he abruptly reappears. He can appear and disappear at will. If he wants to appear, he appears. If he wants to disappear, he disappears. He is in control and can do either with ease. Or you can make his body appear transparent like crystal, so you can see right through it. From his hands and feet, at the flick of the wrist, he releases the fragrance of sandalwood. Or his excrement and urine can be sweet, maybe sweet as thick rock candy. He slanders, slanders the precepts. He says, don't bother about holding precepts. That is a small vehicle matter. Why should you hold them? There's no great meaning in it, and he's contemptuous of those who have left the home life. He says, don't leave the home life. If you want to cultivate, go ahead and cultivate. You don't have to leave home to do it. What difference is there between being a lay person and a left home person anyway? That's how he slanders left home people. Sutra, he often says that there's no cause and no effect, that once we die, we're gone, we are gone forever, that there's no afterlife and that there are no ordinary people and no sages. Although he has obtained a state of empty stillness, he covertly indulges his greedy desires. Those who give in to his lust also adopt his views of emptiness and deny cause and effect. 
commentary, he often says that there is no cause and effect. Don't believe in the law of cause and effect, he says, is totally wrong. There is no such thing. He says that once we die, we are gone forever. Once you die, you are gone forever, just like a light that gets snuffed out. He says that there is no afterlife and that there are no ordinary people and no sages. There is no such a thing as rebirth, nor are there common people or sages. Those are just figures of speech. Although he has obtained a state of empty stillness, he covertly indulges his greedy desires. Although he's arrived at some sort of theory of emptiness, he indulges in lust on the sly. Those who give in to his lust adopt his views of emptiness as victims of the demon's energy. The people who engage in lust with him also come to believe that everything is empty and deny cause and effect. They feel there is no need to believe in cause and effect. Sutra this is an essence that was created during an eclipse of the sun or moon, having fallen on gold, jade, a rare fungus, a unicorn, a phoenix, a tortoise, or a crane. The essence endowed it with life, so that it did not die for thousands or tens of thousands of years and eventually became a spirit. It was then born into this land and in its old age has become a demon. It disturbs and confuses the good person, but when it ties up doing so, it will leave the other person's body. Then both the disciples and the teacher will get in trouble with the law. Commentary What is this? This is an essence that was created during an eclipse of the sun or moon. When there is an interaction between the sun and moon, an eclipse of the sun and moon, an essence falls to the ground, having fallen on gold, jade, a certain kind of rare fungus, a unicorn, a phoenix, a tortoise, or a crane. This essence endowed it with life, so that it did not die for thousands or tens of thousands of years and eventually became a spirit. It was then born into this land and in its old age has become a demon. It disturbs and confuses the good person who is cultivating samadhi. But eventually, when it ties up doing so, it will leave the other person's body. It will cease to possess him. Then. Both the teacher and his disciples will get in trouble with the law. They will be restrained by the law.